Welcome to Virtual Labs at National Institute of Technology, Karnataka. In this tutorial, I'll show you the experimental procedure for reaction kinetics using a tubular reactor. This is the experimental window. Aim of this experiment is to obtain the rate law for saponification of ethyl estate using an ideal steady state plug flow reactor and to study the effect of space time on conversion. Let us see how to do experiment using this simulation tool. This is the line diagram of the experimental setup. This is a plug flow reactor. These are ethyl estate and sodium hydroxide supply. These are rotameters. This is conductivity meter. Dimensions of this uh, plug flow reactor are coil diameter is 33 centimeters, number of turns 5 turns. Diameter of the tube is 1.1 centimeter. Available uh, range of sodium hydroxide and ethyl acetate stock concentrations are 0 0.02 to 0 0.06 gram mole per liter. Experiment is conducted at uh, 28 degrees Celsius. This conductivity meter range is 0 to 200 millisiemens. Let us come to the experiment part. Enter initial molar ratio of the reactants. Let us enter some value like 1.1. .1. Enter stock concentration of A. Stock concentration of A and B should be in this range 0 0.02 to 0 0.06. So enter some value 0 0.03. Enter stock concentration of B 0 0.035. Set flow rate of A. Set some flow, uh, flow rate for A. Uh, let us enter some 10 LPH. Calculate required flow rate of B and enter. OK. For this flow rate of ethyl acetate, to maintain 1.1 molar ratio of the reactants, what would be the flow rate of B? I will show the calculations. For this flow rate of ethyl acetate and to maintain 1.1 molar ratio of the reactants, flow rate of sodium hydroxide can be calculated as this. Let us take the rounded off value. Enter 9 and click the button conductivity meter reading. This is the conductivity meter reading for this flow rate of ethyl acetate. To set another flow rate, click reset and enter another flow rate like 25 LPH. Calculate and enter. Calculated value is some 23.57. So round it off to 24 and click reset. Repeat the same procedure for few more readings. For 50, uh, VB is uh, 47.14. So take rounded off value 47. To see all these readings, click the button display results. These are the flow rates what we have entered. These are the conductivity meter readings at these flow rates. Using this conductivity meter readings, users are supposed to calculate conversion of ethyl acetate and uh, plot a graph between function of conversion and tau space time. Those calculations are, I will show those calculations. These are the observation, uh, stock concentration of ethyl acetate sodium hydroxide, diameter of the coil, diameter of the tube, number of terms, volume of the reactor can be calculated as pi by 4 d square multiplied by pi dc, dc is the diameter of the whole coil and number of turns. Volume of the reactor is 0 0.493 liters. These are the different uh, values at which experiment is conducted. Let us see some sample calculations for uh, uh, 10 LPH of ethyl acetate. For this flow rate of ethyl acetate, 
volumetric flow rate of uh, sodium hydroxide is 9 LPH and total volumetric flow rate of the reactants is Va plus Vb. Space time can be calculated as volume divided by volumetric flow rate. This gives 1.557 minutes. Here volumetric flow rate of sodium hydroxide from the calculations is 9.43 but we have rounded, uh, rounded it off to 9 LPH. So volume uh, ratio of the reactants changes. Actual value of the M ratio of the reactants is this calculated using this. Initial concentrations of uh, ethyl acetate and sodium hydroxide can be calculated as this. This is the conductivity meter calibration curve. Why is the conductivity meter reading? C is the concentration of sodium hydroxide in the reaction mixture. Knowing conductivity meter reading, one can calculate concentration of sodium hydroxide in the reaction mixture. For this reading, uh, 10 LPH of ethyl acetate, conductivity meter reading is 30.47. For conductivity meter reading of 30.47, concentration of sodium hydroxide is this. Knowing initial concentrations of ethyl acetate, sodium hydroxide and Cb, one can calculate Ca concentration of ethyl acetate in the reaction mixture. From this Ca and C0, Ca0, conversion of ethyl acetate can be calculated like this. Performance equation for a plug flow reactor is this. Calculating LHS and plotting a graph between LHS versus um, tau space time gives a plot of this kind. Slope of this plot gives reaction rate constant. For these flow rates calculating concentration conversion of ethyl acetate and uh, function of uh, conversion and plotting a graph between this function of conversion and tau gives a plot of this kind. So, so slope of this plot is 1.532. This is the reaction rate constant. After calculating this reaction rate constant, one can cross check the value with simulator calculated value. For that, go to self evaluation. Enter rate constant. Enter rate constant 1.53. Click the button result. Simulator calculated rate constant is 1.54. Almost sim same. This is how the plot looks like. At any point of time, if you want to go to experiment window, click experiment window. This is the experiment window. This is how one can use this simulation tool. These windows can be resizable. Thank you.